Hello guys, um, today I'm going to do a quick review on AR chassis. Of course, for next maybe five videos, I'm going to make a serious setup for AR chassis, uh, including the most popular setting. It is like this type. It is called FMAR, which is reverse the whole chassis to go the other direction. And it's it's also, some people call it the front motor drive AR chassis. Okay. Uh, first, let's do this little review video and to help you to more understand AR chassis. So here's the AR chassis. Uh, AR chassis is the strongest chassis for the rear model Tamiya ever made. So as you can see, it's really strong and have a revolutional design, which is like the the bumper right here and the bumper right here. So it's make the AR chassis more adaptable. So you can easily to mount all different type of um, the parts, okay? So compare with the regular like a Super 2 or VS chassis, um, they only have the, the two mounting point which are located right here. So air chassis definitely has more mounting point which is on the back and the front as well. And it's really strong and has a lot of mounting point can do a different purpose of the uh, setup. So this is the most advantage of AR chassis. Of course, the strongest chassis design, which is make AR chassis really become really solid. Okay, so next, and we're gonna talk about the AR chassis in the back. So AR chassis, it's not like a traditional uh, rear model chassis, like such as VS. So the battery will take it from the top and the model will take it on the top and the transmission will take it from the top. And the AR chassis, actually everything, if you wanna, um, uh, exchange you have to take it from the back this is a very convenient setting so unlike the regular like you know the VS or Super 2 chassis everything have to take off from top because if you have body damper system which is like this one right here the actually it's very hard to take the battery out because you have to lift the chassis like this and take the battery sometimes it's really pain and especially the model which is located on back if the model was taken from top See like this one is fully covered the motor part so you have to remove the, the body damper system in order to take out the motor But like AR chassis which is it's very easy because everything located on bottom is very easy to take out So like this so you can change the motor and you can swap the battery as well So this is another advantage of AR chassis and moving to the next let's talk about disadvantage of AR chassis so disadvantage of AR chassis it is the first thing I don't like it is the transmission. This is the most people had problem with because it's not like a regular, like standard, like a design like this. So the regular design, the propeller shaft actually goes into the notch on the top like this. So the whole the whole system which is flat on the top, okay. But the AR chassis it is it's going to the other way. So which means the transmission on the AR chassis, especially the propeller shaft, have to go to the notch like this, but when you run your AR chassis, everything gonna be hanging there like this, okay? So this is give you a problem, which is when everything like the other direction, so the whole transmission, which is, is hanging there, was like this. It's really not that stable, okay? So you can see it moves, and also when spins, okay? this always happen it's waggle like this and especially on the original um this pieces right here there's nothing right here to block this part so it's caused a problem which is when the transmission spin is spin like this so it's giving a very uh, bad damage which is right here so if you don't have anything like a to reinforce or stabilize the uh, transmission which is the propeller shaft right here it will all is also by the time like longer time you run your air chassis, you will notice this notch right here is getting really big. And eventually this whole piece is gonna get loose. And this is cause air chassis always has really loud noise. It's, it, it is not about the uh, propeller shaft is getting damaged or either crown gear getting damaged. It is about this whole s chassis right here, it in, it's getting damaged. So what I did and or, um, to make it like having better uh, setup, so I put a special piece of carbon fiber right here, which is a cut off from this type of like carbon fiber. So when this piece is right here, it will fix the disadvantage of AR chassis transmission. So um, you can see from this angle right here, let me focus a little bit, you can see 
Okay, so you can see right here, this is the carbon fiber pieces. So it's blocked the uh, um, propeller shaft right here to the right position, which is right here. So when it spins, it will be spinning on the right position right here. Okay, so if we move it, when we spin it, it will be moved like this. Okay, you can see it moves. But again, when you have this piece right here, when it spins, it moves because this piece is blocked uh, the transmission. Of course, you have to leave a little bit gap and just make it a little bit loose. Otherwise, uh, it will like you re really have a hard time, maybe uh, too much contact on the carbon fiber pieces to create a, too much resistance. But this is just giving a better, you know, uh, pos position. Uh, I would say a better uh, uh, mechanic um, design, which is right here, to giving a better, uh, I would say, to keep this propeller shaft in the right position, to preventing its moving to the other side and cause its waggle and eventually gonna damage all this and here. Okay, so this is a simple setting I made. Next, we're gonna talk about another character of the AR chassis. So AR chassis, you will notice right here, the front bumper, which is including the bottom and the top, has like about two or three degree up or either or either down. So you can see right here, let me get a better angle. You can see about three, I think it's three degree right here, okay? So this is giving a better setup when you have a regular setting, which is bumpless. So when you set up plate right here using uh, the front bumper, so it's giving a little bit angle goes up. So it's giving better um, uh, advantage on when you're having a slope or in the bank. But when you do AR chassis on the reverse, like FM AR, like this one right here. So here's the problem because this piece is gonna be your back after you go FM AR. So the problem right here, it is uh, when you set up play right here. So you also bring up another angle it's not gonna be vertical or either, um, you know, it's not gonna be like 180 degree flat. So you have to do a modification to keep the tail, which is on this part, to be uh, 180 degree and 100% flat, like the one I have right here. And this is I'm gonna talk about later when I'm, I'm going to make another video for set up the FM AR. And, um, but overall, and it's really good for the AR chassis because if you can fix a transmission um, on the AR chassis, and this is a really good chassis to try. And also, if you can fix the problem on the back, which is like here, the angle, the three degree angle right here, it is really good chassis to run a FM AR, which is like this one, because, because FM AR is the most popular um, reverse chassis we can do under a very uh, popular setting, which is right here I have. And because the chassis is compared with the regular Super FM or FM chassis, so it is more stronger and the transmission a little bit better if you can make modify the right way. And also, there's a lot, uh, you know, uh, at that point, which is right here, and this is the different mounting point, which is you have, you can have better setting and also for the modification purpose, and it's really easy to set up, okay? compared with the uh, Super FM or FM because Super FM and FM it is really too old to um, I don't think it's really good f to fit today's you know the uh, modern mini four-wheel drive uh, uh, setup so FM AR is a better choice um, for today's if you want to run a front motor drive like the one I have and uh, again front motor drive it is the top speed is not good but the acceleration take off and, uh, and climbing, especially on a bank, like a 40 or 60 degree bank is really good. And have a lot of torque when it's going up, okay? But the only disadvantage of FM AR, it is the uh, top speed, and uh, compared with VS or MA and Super 2, it is not really that good as, as those chassis. Um, but overall, it really depends track layout. And uh, another advantage of AR chassis, and when you have like a slope up, and you only have one section straight for buffer, um, the uh, FM AR probably is a better choice because when they jumps, it's jump really short and really low, 
and especially the front model uh, uh, driving and when to land on, on the on the slope so it's gonna be having a really fast takeoff and re-acceleration so anyway so here's the AI chassis uh, review I uh, hope you will like it and for next couple of day I will try to make uh, another couple of video which is can get you started with a, a different set of um, AR chassis so just subscribe my channel and uh, I will keep working on the other video for setup so thank you for watching my YouTube channel if you have any questions just go ahead and leave a comment if I didn't reply which means I'm busy but anyway I still gonna keep making video and uh, if you have any question just leave a comment I will try answer as soon as possible